wasn't originally going to talk about this video as much as I would have thought I would have done, but as I've just seen it, it's actually quite interesting. I thought I actually might do my own kind of interpretation of how I actually see the new kind of prequel slash sequel to um, Girl, Girl, Girl. What was it? No, Me, Me, Me. Sorry, this one's called Girl. Basically, I interpret it as the fact that it's kind of like the void of self-discovery and also how how basically someone can actually destroy your life and then leave an empty hole in your heart and basically destroy you and then you have to wait for that one person to come back and hit you right there so you god tell you damn everything's gonna be okay that's how i see this see this song i don't you can't really understand what's going on because to be honest it's it's shrouded in imagery which makes absolutely no freaking sense and it kind of just doesn't really just tell you in bold letters look this is what this is about like me 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 kind of made sense because it's all about Antaku's life and how and basically how it can just take over someone's life to a point where you you, do, you can't actually perceive the outside world in the same way ever again and you basically get obsessed and you basically can destroy your life. That was a bit more clearer because you had the you had the visual cues which told you. This one, I'd say, wasn't as clear because it didn't actually show... Well, the first one wasn't really clear, but after a while you begin to dug in. It kind of doesn't show you specifically, yes, this is what, you, this is what you're meant to perceive it as or this is no, this it isn't. I see because she's practically born in the vagina so I just see it as a voyage of self-discovery and then the fact is she sees someone and then something happens and she goes into the real world and then basically she sees people like this and how basically how breakups almost can destroy a person's life because it's it's also shown through the guy with the heart with the hole in his heart it's shown through that the fact that it's, sometimes breakups can actually be very very psychological and mess you up completely like we've all been there everyone's experienced sometimes when a relationship can get out of hand. You almost love someone to a point where you can't be without them, and then when they break up with you, it's almost like you've been hit in the chest as if as if with a knife to the to the chest, basically. I can actually perceive my words properly, but no, it's just that's how I see it, and almost it's almost made obvious because at the end you sh you see that you see the two people from the first from the first video. This time you actually see the girl without not being crying and everything like that. You see her normal and happy with the guy. Yeah, it's not conventional storytelling, but the way it's done, it's it's done really, really well because it doesn't tell you specifically what you're meant to perceive. It's telling you in indirect, in indirect means how you're meant to perceive it. And yeah, no two interpretations are going to be correct. I don't think I don't think mine, mine's correct. But what I saw and how the video played out, and then at the end when the when the knight in shining armor basically appeared in front of her, you may perceive the fact it's self-discovery and how relationships can destroy a person to a point where you can't get out of that relationship and then when you see that person that's with basically with the person you loved it basically destroys you inside and then you wait for that one person to come along and save you that's basically how i see this film and it's almost it's not it's just not as clear as you would see like i would say go and watch it see your own see your own interpretation and then come back and say if i'm wrong or not because i presume i'm actually completely wrong on this fact because granted i'm i know my stuff about some things i can i can I can understand interpretations of how people go about films and stuff like that, but it doesn't mean my interpretation is always correct. Like my Evangelion interpretation is completely wrong sometimes, but it's just how some people see it. Some people see it differently. I see the fact is it's just um, imagery, and the fact is that someone's basically gone through a breakup. It's basically just messed up their whole life. I but then it kind of just confuses the fact the sequel. I just don't know how the sequel unless the sequel is the fact those two. She becomes in between those two, and then that's how they break up. That is how I could probably see the sequel basically molding into the prequel, because that's the only way it could, because in fact, it's kind of a bit confusing in that regard, because now you're a bit less interpreted on the, on the sequel, because you don't know how, because that's her. Me, me, me is the girl in this in this video, it's her. So you don't know how in the sequel it basically plays out, because now it's kind of a bit in the air how it all fits in, but yeah. I mean, watch the video, tell me what you think, and then come back and tell me if I'm wrong, because I think I am wrong, but that's my in initial interpretation. Like, maybe I might come back later on and say, no, actually, maybe, I, after about going through about 16 times, I, s I actually probably imagine it's not completely that what I said before, and it's completely different. Yeah, opinions can change. It's something that always happens. My opinion's not always right. Everyone's, everyone's on top of their opinion. I'll never say your opinion is wrong. But, hey, yeah, anyway, go watch the video. Come back and tell me what you think, and I will basically sound off, sound off the comments and tell me what you think, and I will basically reply. And, and don't try to make it confusing, my brain is basically fried at the moment. But with all that said, I have been the driver, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.